I hope this video helps. Please check out my playlist, Evidence for Christianity, Evidence for the Bible, End Times, and the Book of Revelation. I'll leave links in the description for all four. Enjoy. Here's all the parts that are on the inside of that TV. I'm going to show you how to take them all out uh, in case you want to sell them or in case you want to replace them. Uh, it's a little tricky to get them get to them because uh, the, there's only four screws that I had to remove during the whole process and that was for the feet. So you got the two speakers, the two feet, your main board, your power supply, and then your cables, and then also the Wi-Fi module, which is right there, the Wi-Fi module. And also the board with the power button, the IR sensor board. Let's get them removed. All right, found this uh, Samsung TV on the side of the road. They were going to throw it away. It's model number UN65RU7100F. And let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, just plugged it in. Nothing's blowing up yet. Let's see if we can power it on. So a red light does come on down here after plugging it in. Power button's right here. So let's see what happens. Oh no, we got a cracked screen. So first thing we're going to do is take the feet off. Take these uh, two Phillips head screws out on each foot. Alright, so now that the feet are off, see this little area right here that you can get a screwdriver down into? There, uh, yeah, and that pops out. So this... You can't just run it along the edge from there. You got to come over here and then get the screwdriver underneath, shove it in a little ways, and then start running it down the side. All right. So as you're going down through down the side, it'll hit spots where it stops. And you kind of have to pry up a bit to get it to pop. right there. There we go. Yeah, you do have to apply some pressure up in order to get it to pop loose from the it's got little latches like down in here. They're ways down. have to get it to unhook hear it pop
All right, it feels like we've got most of them unlatched. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, now, you just need to pull up on it. Get the rest of them to unlatch. There we go. All right, so it's just a one-man person doing it. And you've already popped everything loose. Go ahead and shove the screwdriver down here in this corner. And then get a hold of the middle on the top. And we kind of get it lifted up and make sure everything's unmatched. So let's just come over and lift up and hopefully it'll... Uh, Break loose. It keeps relatching itself in certain spots. There we go. Okay. And then just kind of pull up. Yep, there we go. Not very much of this TV. So, what was making this such a pain to get apart was you got these latches here along the edge that are latched to this wire. So, you're you're un unhooking it from that wire there. I'm sure there's a special tool to do it, but that worked fine. So you can see you have to get in there ways to get near that uh, that latch in order to pop it up. So that's why we're shoving it in there so far and to get it to pop up. So the power supply board, let's take it out. It also uh, does not have screws. But anyway, uh, be careful because you do have a high voltage capacitor there. Uh, don't want to kill yourself. So let it sit for a while before doing all this. He says, danger, danger. Uh, be careful. If you know how to discharge the cap properly, um, then go ahead. But uh, yeah, that uh, you're doing this at your own risk. I'm just showing you how to take it out. So unplug it from the main board, squeeze these two together, pull, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And with everything unplugged, to get it off, uh, you have to lift up down here because it is hooked right there onto a tab that's poking out. And also you'll have to unlatch it from here. So you could unlatch it from here with one hand Pick it, pick it up from that corner right there and then just kind of slide it over and then it comes off. Um, and then as you can see, you want to hold on to it better than I was uh, so it doesn't just fall. Let's take the main board off. So from the power supply, squeeze here, pull, uh, and wiggle. And... This plug here, it has a latch. You just need to push on with your thumb to open it and then pull out. And then this one goes to the on off switch. It's got a latch. Push with your thumb and then pull out. And then here's your video output. And the ribbon cables. The connector here, you just get a fingernail under this brown part and then put, flip it up. Flip it up. There you go. And then it just slides out. All right. And then your speakers. Uh, they got a connector here. You got a pinch to unlatch it and then pull out. So everything's disconnected from the main board. And as you can see, it does not have screws either, but it does have a little tab holding it on there and just lift up on that to get it over the tab uh, and then just push that direction to get it off and it's unlatched. There you go. This board here is the Wi-Fi board. You can unplug the wire from it by pinching this to unlatch it and it does not have any screws holding it on either so 
the uh, tabs to hold it on are on both sides here. And if you can squeeze it with your fingers to get it off, that's great, but I cannot. So, just get a little screwdriver down inside there to push the tab, get it unlatched. Then the other side just comes off. There's your Wi-Fi module. So now let's take the speakers off. Start with this one over here. Uh, they just have some rubber booties that they're kind of latched onto. Just pull until it comes off the rubber booty there. And the other side has a rubber booty. You just need to just pull until it comes off of that. There's one speaker. And then the other speaker is tied into this one here on the side. So we'll go ahead and just uh, take it as one whole unit. So just pull that rubber booty down so it can get off of it. And then the other rubber booty's on the other side. And just pull it off of that. And it's off. It's removing the cables. I already took all the tape off. You got these cables here for the video. Just on the brown part, get a fingernail under there and flip that up, and then it comes off. Flip that up. And then the one to the power button, there's a little tab that you gotta push to, to unlatch it from under here. So put a thumbnail on that and then pull down. Or fingernail. Come on. There we go. So here's what I did to get this removed. You can see uh, there's a tab right there that's kind of in the middle of this seam to get it undone. You just put one thumb here, the other one thumb here. Kind of pull out and pull up. Oh, okay. And there you go. It's unhooked. You could go in from the other side and, and then kind of pry out to get those, but this was the easiest, I believe, to get to and to get pulled out. So there's your power and IR sensor board. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you want to connect with me, I have a public group called Share Your Trade on MeWe. I'll leave that link in the description. Thanks for watching.